Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, Episode 55. <laughs> so, Alright, we've, we've only got a few left. We've got the Hero Races and the Dark Races. What's the difference? These are, these are races that can only be done by either Normal Chows or Hero Chows. Oh. And because we've got ourselves a hero, well, we're gonna go ahead and use Dejime here. Oh, look at that! There's four races, each to the hero in the dark, and they're all about racing the other kind of chow. Oh, that's it? Yeah, so I think they got them kind of mixed up. This is the hero going against the darks, and it should have been the darks going against the darks. Dark, dark. Darks going you against know, it. You know, I'm not gonna... Let's not worry about that. Let's try not to overcomplicate this, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've already got the worst jokes we've ever said on these past two episodes. <laughs> Don't want to really make it any worse. Unheard by human ears. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you are destroying these chows. Yeah, but I'm also running out of stamina, and, well, I don't have as big a lead as I really want. Ah, so now it's just a casual stroll straight to the end. I'm just gonna walk there at the end. Isn't that a big insult? <laughs> so wait, they, these races don't contain, like, any stupid minigames or whatever? Not this one, at least. Oh, good. So they have an opportunity to show up. Of course they do. Go, Dejime, go! I put a I lot of money on you! <laughs> I think what they're doing is that they're just trying to scare the player. It's like, oh, look at this new spooky place! It's going to be some mighty challenging races in here! Dejime is a god fighter. He's not afraid of anything, okay? Yeah, not anymore. What do you mean? There, that, that, that was slow and boring. Well, he, he used to be, like, weak. He used to be a child. Oh, there's right, no way right. He there's no way he could have ran these races. Right, and now that now that he's all grown up and destroying deities, he's clear for all of these races. Oh, he's good. Oh, yeah. He can destroy anything. Okay, on to the second one. Okay, all right. Next. Uh, new battle against the child devil. Oh, jeez. <laughs> We have to fight the child devil? No, it's... Really, it's just four levels of different types of dark chows. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at them all! Uh, that Whoa, that, cool. that last one's <laughs> looking pretty cool. That one's an edgelord. <laughs> oh, and look what's here. Oh, thank God! I was hoping these weren't gone. Lovely. Just lovely. I just, I'll pray to RN Jesus. Good job, Deji May! Your prayers have been heard! <laughs> RN Jesus has answered his prayers because Deji May knows Jesus, of course. <laughs> yeah, it uh, gave him a high five on the way up to fight even greater powers. Oh, and you got the tree thing. So this is just like all the other races, is what you're telling me. Deity Jesus Men. Deity Jesus Men. Dejime. But Jesus is spelled with an E. Oh, he's a Japanese product, so... Well, uh, all right, fine. So it got lost in translation, is what you're saying. Yeah, otherwise it'd just be Dejime, or Dejim. <laughs> Dejime. <laughs> okay, Dejime. If you find that Sonic doll, I know you're smarter than the average demon chow. Hey, I'm smarter than the average demon chow! I've actually got brains! I went to school! <laughs> you kind of remind me of a mixture of Yogi Bear and Barney Rubble. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't combine cool. them! <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you already did, well, okay, that's that's fair. You can have that one. But if I do it right now... Ah! <laughs> oh, that was certainly interesting. It, it livened up this race! And now it's unlivened again. Oh my god! How many of these are there? A lot. Like, I'm not getting mad at any- or anything, it's just mm. like... Why so many? Yeah, I mean, there's way more races than there should be. I'll give them, a, you know, a round of applause for variety, but... You gotta learn when enough is enough! Like, no shit, this could just be a mobile game! Exactly! And with the uh, with the Dreamcast, couldn't you take out the UMD and play it like that, or was that something completely different? That was something kind of completely different. 
It's how to raise your chow's stats. You get him to walk, and sometimes you get items and oh. food and things like that. Okay. You can bring it back. The thing is, the batteries were shit, <laughs> and they were kind of hard. They were kind of hard to find because they weren't like the typical kind of triple A's. They had to get like watch battery. Oh no! Watch batteries, pretty much. Don't forget that. And there's like about twelve different kinds of watch battery too. So. Oh god. All right, that's two. And it's not even that involved. Chow adventure is. Just kind of, you leave it alone, you wait around for a bit, and then after like two or three hours, it'll go bloop, bloop, <laughs> and then you get, you get to choose whether you get to go up or down. Did you ever do that as a kid? You played with a UMD? Oh, yeah, I did, of course. Get the okay. sexy new Dreamcast, and wow, it's like a Game Boy as a memory card? Of course I'm going to figure out how to play that, and of course I didn't really get to do much with it. So I guess the modern day equivalent would be the Pokey Walker that came with Heart Gold and Soul Silver, right? Yes, exactly. Except there's no uh, tracing your steps. Well, okay, it wasn't a stepometer. Probably wasn't enough space for those clock batteries. Yeah. All right. So race three. What's the difference in this one? They're Bone Kids. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, they got skulls. They're they're the skinheads that wanted to become Boneheads. Oh, except good. except these guys aren't racist. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we have some diversity in here, and I'm glad we're not hating each other, okay? They're, they're just child porn smugglers, that's all. <laughs> Alright, so... Leave it alone, Boneface! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep quoting that until it gets old. Thanks, He-Man. <laughs> uh. Oh, is this new? Is it? No, wait, that's the end. No, that's not new. Oh. Not new at all. It's been like a million years since I've seen these courses, kinda, but that looked new, that ending at least. It would have been way more exciting had I actually not cheated. <laughs> Is this hindsight kicking in? Oh no, I'm still glad I did it. Oh well, okay. Because that means I would still be training those little bastards right now. You know what, it's... and I would oh, probably- check it out, I... it's- it's oh. the devil versus angel now. <gasps> it's only against one Ooh, opponent. Wow, look at him! Oh yes. Dejime versus the devil angel- devil- yeah, The devil! Guy. So is he like a greater demon, or is he like actually the devil? He's just really powerful. Oh. And you only have one opponent compared to seven, so... Ah. So he's not like... He's, <laughs> wow. Good night. Oh, the devil's kind of... Crap. <laughs> kind <me>. of, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that or he has kind of shit luck. Maybe he has to so, call in the other six greater demons to help him out. I'm just gonna let my stamina... I'm just gonna keep it, keep it going as is. Just to see how fast this guy is compared to how we are at level max. Doesn't look like he's going too much faster. Too yeah, much which faster. means we're still way more powerful. Well, as long as we got time to kill... You know, I just had a weird thought while talking Wait. about the greater demons of hell. Please talk about anything else. You know what? Please. I was thinking, what if we had like all seven of the greater demons of hell in like Power Ranger suits or Sentai suits? And just had them all power up at the same time. So they're like, they're calling their different Zords, I guess you could say, in quotation marks. So it's like, go Belphegor! Go Asmodeus! Go Lucifer! Go Devil! And the other three. I'm trying to think, what are the other three? Bob, Joe, and Steve. I, I'll go with it. No, they must be like the new devils, the ones they bring in when the other ones are on vacation. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like Rent-A-Devil. Uh, uh, we're kind of shadowing right now. Uh, we just, uh, joined the company about last week. Um, <laughs> yes, I heard we're not uh, supposed to talk with the angel group. That's who we met at the, uh, at the interns. Uh, well, uh. So when do I get to burn people? I hear that's part of the job. Oh, I can't burn people. My clothes are flame protardant. They're very flammable. All right, where'd you get these guys? Seriously? Look, a bit short-staffed, we needed somebody to fill in the places, and we didn't have anybody else. And they said they lived in hell their whole lives. Uh, yeah, we've been in hell, Minnesota, our whole lives. Gah! Uh, all right.
Wait, when can you start? Maybe we can do that. Maybe we can have, like, all the greater beings and deities be, like, really stereotypical and terrible. <laughs> Did you where are you going? Come on, man, my idea wasn't that bad. He likes working blue like we do. Oh. Oh, and thank God we won. Oh, where would uh, we be without Dejime to help us? Hey, thank two you. minutes, 37 seconds. Hey, what do you know? It felt like an hour. But anyway, we got a horse. Oh, we got a little hobby horse. These are great. We're cheering to nobody. But hey, <laughs> beating, beating the hero race is an emblem. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Nine, nine more to go, man. Oh, oh my God. Almost there. So uh, now it's time to go on to the exact same goddamn uh, fucking thing. No! Time for Shithy to take on the forces. <laughs> go, Shithy, go! Uh, okay, can you spice this up with, like, little blips of death metal? Just like, every time we say Shithy, his name is just like... So, Shithy. Yes. Shithy. Shithy! Ah! Uh, shithy. Have fun with those. Shithy! Shithead! Uh, no, shithy. no, wait, wait. No, that, that plays like angelic choir music, so be, be careful when you get his name wrong. So, pretty much, if I want to say Shithy is a shithead, it would go Shithy is a shithead. Is that what I'm... That is absolutely it? correct. If you accidentally get shithead's name wrong and you say Shithy instead of Shithy shithead, you'll get some... Plenty good shithead, shithy, shithead. Well, shit. No, wait, that destroyed the whole paradigm! Oh, God! Well, that was fun. <laughs> so when is this episode rigged to blow? I'm just thinking. We really need one of these to have like a like a emergency button, like like a trigger. Just like, okay, the episode's kind of dragging on a bit long. <laughs> Where is the emergency button? Well, I don't know. We already kind of backed out for the entire universe there. I, that that was probably something. <laughs> uh, God, somebody jacked the radio waves in the last episode. Oh, God's sake, if you do that, we're gonna not- Oh! I think we're golden! Oh, oh, oh. Never mind! Alright, well, uh... So, this is Golden Gun's Great Adventure Single Player Mode. I'll go on a- Whoa! Turn it back! Alright, alright, hold on, I got it. I got it, hold on. I'm gonna put on my, my, my hacker hands, and I'm gonna type on two keyboards at once. Well, I'm gonna do you all a great, great service. While he's uh, doing the hacker stuff and got it. Oh great, great! Now there's just text all over the screen. But anyway, look, I I I went ahead and did all the dark races. So now we're just doing the last of the dark races because it is literally the same thing. Really? Yes. Like there's no difference Ex whatsoever. Practically no. I mean, look at look at the last one. It's even against an angel instead of a devil this time. Oh my god! So again. Doing you all another favor and just skipping all that shit. The exact same thing. This is monotonous. You betcha. And all of this for like an extra mini game on the side. Like the Chows have their entire. It in today's world, this this would be sectioned off as its own game, like its own sixty bucks. Uh huh. Well, maybe not sixty. I would say forty well, to fifty. Forty to fifty, maybe thirty, if Sega's feeling nice. If they're feeling charitable. I still hold true to my, uh... Uh, to my mobile idea. This is definitely gonna... This could definitely be a mobile game. Absolutely. Have an automatic stat booster for one ninety nine. dollars Sega, this is no! Sega. This, is, this is Sega, so it would be nine ninety nine. dollars oh. Come on. Dude. 
You're, you've come this far and you're still tripping over your own feet? Come on. Dejime doesn't even have feet. Step it up, man. <laughs> Literally, step it up. You got the feet to do it. That'd be no small feat. I wonder... I wonder if Sega would ever take the idea of... I, I know it's like a really crappy idea, but what if they took the idea of Tamagotchi and did it for these guys and sold it for like $5? Do you think somebody well, would have the ability to sue? You have the silly notion, the delirious idea in your head that people still give a remote fuck about Tamagotchi. Or Chow's. They give a shit about Chow's. That's why I'm saying, what if they basically remade Tamagotchi with the Chow's in it? Chowmagotchi? They could just call it, like, Chow World and sell Billio. Because apparently these things are loved by a bunch of Sonic fans. Are they? I mean... Well, I don't they're, know. They're okay, but having to do all these races, I don't know if I care for them as much anymore. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I still like your mobile game idea. Call it Chow World, disguise it as a Tamagotchi game, and there you go. Ten dollars, uh, no microtransactions. Yeah, no microtransactions. Oh, okay, maybe like 99 cents for a stat buff. Yeah, 99 cents. Ten dollars for a stat buff! Pay a hundred dollars and you can get a chow just like Jejume and Shifty at level 99 max. Make sure to get one light and one dark, so sure. that's two hundred dollars to win the game. Here's be a radio. Be sure to send it to the correct PayPal account or else you just won't get your chow. And there's another emblem because we beat the dark races. That's eight more to go. Yes, eight left. <coughs> oh dear, are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. I am dandy. So, all right. I guess that takes care of all the races, doesn't it? Wait. No. There's still, like, half an episode left. Yep, that's... Well, uh, we still got more emblems to get, so let's see what else we can do now. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's check the Chow world here for our emblems, because it'll show how many we have, and... Uh, there's one missing. Five. There's one missing. There. Oh man! What, what 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 did we do wrong? What did you miss? We did all the races, didn't we? What did you miss? We did all the races. We. T What's missing? It can't. It can't be right. It can't be. What about party what? races? Was that a thing? No. Well, yeah, but that doesn't. There's no emblems tied to that. It's it's just kind of like multiplayer. You can choose your own chows and have them race and. We no no we gotta be missing something we gotta be missing something what else all can right, there all right. be well, let's try, let's try to figure this out all right all challenge right, well, races maybe, maybe it's the challenge races because that was the middle one and that is really the middle emblem you can get in this and oh my oh god. my god <laughs> more more of them showed up be afraid ghost group is the uh, ninth one we're gonna be doing I bet you anything we're just racing a bunch of fucking ghosts. No, we're, we're gonna be racing. Well, let's see. Let's see who we're racing. We got Boneface, Bo Boneface, 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 Mad Dude, Pumpkin Head. That's a Sleep, ghost. Uh, that's dead, a ghost and a should pumpkin. be dead. Ah <laughs> no! I ain't, I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep <laughs> down in Pumpkin Hill. I guess to find my lost piece. Oh no more. No, that it's no here. More. I can sense it in my feet. The Great Emerald's power allows me to feel... Oh my god, it'll never probably be some crazy, crazy a graveyard theory. Beware the chow race. A ghost tried to approach me. You and... Die. You know, uh... Seven I think days. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this part of the race and just go completely... Out of character. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm just sitting here with coffee in my hand. I mean... <sighs> What's going on on Twitter? <sighs> well, nobody's died yet in 2017. Yeah, don't jinx it. Yeah, that is true. 
Genji arraigned to have her cloistered highness's sacred images made and dedicated that summer when the lotuses were in full bloom. For the occasion, he took advantage all the th all the uh, he took advantage of all the things that he had assembled for her personal ch chapel. He had the banners made from a particularly lovely and intriguing Chinese brocade. Lady Murasaki had them sewn. <laughs> the flower stand covers, with their pretty tie-dyed pattern, were especially attractive, and the dyeing had been done in a most unusual way. The night curtains were rolled up on all four sides, and a lotus mandala hung at the back. Offerings of flowers in magnificent colors stood before in tall silver vases. The incense burning on the altar was Chinese and of hundred paces quality, and the Amida and his two attendant bodhisattvas were very finely and beautifully made from white sandal wood. The holy water vessel was notably small and, as usual, and adorned with blue, white, and purple lotuses. The incense, compounded according to the lotus petal method with the addition of only a sprinkling of honey, diffused a fragrance that blended perfectly with that of the lotuses on the altar. Genji had provided six copies of the sutra, one for sentient beings in each of the six realms, and he himself had made her own. The prayer he had written to accompany it expressed the wish that this scripture, at least, should preserve the bond- Oh, we won! Cool! Can All I right, say, uh, can, so... Let me tell you one <laughs> headline I found while you were reading that, and I thought it was really what, funny. What, what do you got? Go ahead. Fashion designers ask red carpet stars to start, stop mispronouncing their names. <laughs> Ow. All right. That's kind of mean. Yeah, I, I mean, I was always a fan of John Rivers. <clears throat> so next is... He Strikes Back. Ooh, I bet you it's a chow that we're going to kick the crap out of because we're so fast. I'm yeah, sorry, it's... I shouldn't have been snarky. No, it's literally just the same thing as the last time we fought them because there's just... eight of them. They're probably much more powerful now because they look like monstrosities. Number six <laughs> doesn't look like he know, knows what the fuck he's doing here. <laughs> so the monster -er you look, the better you are. Is that why Deji may win so much? Is because he has no legs? I mean, he looks like a floating swan monstrosity, so maybe that's why he's winning all the time. And Dejimei's just a little shithead. Oh, now I finally get the point behind his name! There you go. Oh my god! I am stupid! I had you fooled. The I D's just for got Dejimei. it! <laughs> that's great! Oh god. Is it over yet? No! It's not over here. <laughs> hey, oh. Thank you for the uh, swift and painful no. What are Omo Chow? <laughs> what whoa, whoa, the whoa. hell? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> and so Shifty met his tragic end over the waterfall. He seemed all set to win the match, but he did not survive. Boy, if you ask me, Shifty's a bit of a daredevil. Uh. No, I like that one. I really do. I didn't. Are you sure? I had a hell of a time coming up with it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't even want to think of a pun. <laughs> I could just start making puns about things around my room. What do we got? Well, you really can't make many puns about anime and figurines and games, can you? I got a lamp! I'm trying to think of some things on that! But no matter what I do, I can't shed any light on it! Yeah, I was gonna say light. But hey, that was a good one, though. You're a pretty bright kid. <laughs> Thank you. I tend to shine when I've got nothing else to talk about. Um... Uh, let's see if I can... I just, I just need a light bulb to go in my head or something. Ah, I got it. Can we just have you draw something? <laughs> just like put it in the corner there of the episode. Just you drawing something. Draw Shifty. Draw your interpretation of Shifty. Not what it actually looks like in the game, but your interpretation of this little shithead. D oh, d okay, okay, okay. All right. By uh, the way, okay. I hope that rule still applies for you changing the music. <sighs> I'm giving you a lot of shit to do, because this is boring. You know, we're doing a Dead Rising episode right after this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I better you really want to go? You want to go this way, man? 
we'll fucking go this way. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, what's next? Uh, next is Kids Troop Chow Ranger. It's a it's a funny thing you were talking about combining all the seven DTs into one Megazord oh. or whatever. Because are they? Oh, look at that! They My, it's, a, are. it's the mighty it's the mighty Morphin Chower Rangers. I like it. They don't, but oh, is that guy supposed to be knights? I, I don't know. I think these are all the different kinds of kinds of chows you can make. I don't know. Like you can get them in different colors like that. I'm guessing that there's a tails chow, a regular chow, a knuckles chow, a ruse chow. A, I don't fucking know. Did you see the vector, the crocodile chow? He's the best. I'm only here to get emblems and. That's it. I'm here to get emblems and fuck bitches, right? Yeah. I'm here to get emblems and fuck bitches, and I'm all out of bitches. Damn it! I've been, I've been out of bitches since, like, 2011. <laughs> That's why I do Let's Plays. <laughs> to cover up my crippling sadness. Well, hey, that's why you do Let's Plays, right? Because you ran out of bitches? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> ran out, never had them. See, I just said ran out. That, did, that doesn't always mean that I never had them. You had to go that extra mile, so you said that, not me. As I have learned with years of comedy, self-deprecating humor is the best. Well, uh, I'm, a, I'm more the fan of the self-defecating humor. No! <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. You broke the conundrum again! Or paradigm. Crap, not conundrum. <laughs> Getting my own plot points mixed up. Wait, By the way, I'm points. lonely. <laughs> Can somebody help? Don't they make apps for that? Oh yeah, let's see who's... Who can I swipe on Tinder? Hello. I don't have Tinder. I forgot. You know... I tried to get Tinder once, and I wasn't that I wasn't that impressed by it because I I looked at it and for some for some reason everyone that I ever got turned out to be a ham sandwich. Okay, you're gonna have to explain that one. I knew you were coming up with a joke, but explain that one a bit. No, really. I mean, I just pulled the app. There's a sandwich. And I swipe. There's another sandwich. And I swipe again, there's another sandwich. Was your profile like a piece of meat? I said I wanted to be sandwiched in between, you know... <laughs> I, I think they may have misinterpreted that somehow. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, I, I put, you know, the words big meat, uh, mayonnaise, and spread. <laughs> And this is turning into Phoenix Drive. How could just, you? It just gave me sandwiches. I don't get it. <laughs> let me tell. Let me tell you. I'm calling that little Rye back. Tell you what. You had a good time last night. <laughs> I could actually just see putting together a profile and say, "I like video games and I also hate myself." And then you get a bunch of suggestions for Sonic 06 and a bunch of other shitty games. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at what we're doing ahead because I've seen his list as to uh -oh. what we're going to be doing next. Oh no! yes. This is the no! ultimate. <laughs> We're gonna be doing. Don't look. Uh, actually, we'll just talk about this. This is a Angel Chaos Chow. How does that work? I have no idea. Explain. Is this like D and D rules where this is like chaotic neutral? I think it's like the most powerful Chow that you can create. Because it's chaos, right. but it's also angel, so it's super powerful. But who cares? We're still faster than that piece of shit. So this is like Chaos Zero Chow? Uh, pretty much. Can we feed it all the emeralds and have it become a destroy your world kind of chow? We feed it all the chows. <laughs> all the losers go to this chow and we're still winning? I'm gonna hatch, I'm gonna hatch three <laughs> new chows. One called breakfast, one called lunch, one <laughs> called dinner. <laughs> and a fourth, a fourth one that doesn't work very well, we'll call that dessert, but I'm regretting it. Yes, a fourth, How are we still winning? A fourth chow, we'll call it Taco Bell. <laughs> Thank you. That's the chow you eat after one pe after one a.m. You know, I got Taco Bell at like 11 p.m. Yeah, a couple days ago. Because it took me about 45 minutes to actually get the food. 
And it took Jesus. me it took me about just that long to decide from my couch. Do I wanna get Taco Bell? Do I really wanna get it? Because it's always so inconvenient from where I live. Yeah, two, you do live kind of far away. There's two Taco Bells where I live, and one, I either gotta go on the highway for, like, 15 minutes, so that takes a half an hour just to even get there, or I can go to the one that's closest to me, or I gotta go through the back roads and all through this, all through traffic and all throughout, you know, half of the entire city to get to, so that's gonna add another half an hour, so either way I go, it's gonna be inconvenient for me. But did I really want that Taco Bell? You bet your ass I did. <laughs> It makes me sad that they're not selling Baja Blast in bottles anymore. Now I have to go to Taco Bell to get it. They still sell them in 12 packs. Really? If you're lucky, you can still find some. Oh, shoot. Better go digging. Better get digging. Hey, you know what? We've been talking about, like, satanic things. We could talking about the devil, talking about hell, and then all of a sudden we went to Taco Bell. So can we name this episode Taco Hell? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Taco yay! Hell it is. Oh, I finally contributed to this episode. You've contributed enough! Yay, we won! <sighs> we did it. No, 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 act, act more surprised. This was like the chaos chow, so... One, two, three, yay, we won! Woo! Yay, we won, woo. Damn it! We got a TV! Oh my god, finally! A shitty, and... crappy TV, and hey, that's yes! emblem number 173. Five left! Five left! Five left. Wait, there, no, more than that. There's what? Six left. What? So, wait. Alright, alright. Uh, yeah. uh, where is that? Okay. Let me go. Let me go check the Chow emblems that we do have in the world of Chow. We have them all. We have them all. We have them all, right? Correction, we have five out of nine. So oh. next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, we're going to be doing some more Chow stuff, but it's going to be like stuff like Chow Karate and all that. Oh, all yes. the, rema the remaining emblems. We're going to get all 100... actually happens. We're going to be getting all 180, 180 emblems next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. Yay! Wait a minute. Is that the is that the episode where I'm plastered? Genji, who was suffering from a recurrent fever, had all sorts of spells cast and healing rites done, but to no avail. The fever kept returning. Someone then said, My lord, there was a remarkable ascetic at a temple in the northern hills. Last summer, when the fever was widespread and spells failed to help, he healed many people immediately. Please try him soon. It would be dangerous to allow your fever to become any worse. Genji sent for him, but the ascetic answered that, being now old and bent, he never left his cave. Then, I shall have to go very quietly to see him. He set up before daybreak, with only four of five especially close retainers. The place was a